One of the finest pieces of comedy I saw recently was Daniel Slaw's and his stand-up routine Jigsaw on Netflix. He talks about a lot of things, death, disability, vegans, and my favorite part of his routine, relationships. For a 26-year-old, he has a pretty sharp take on love and relationships. This episode is sparked by a line that he spoke. He says, we must love ourselves first before we allow someone else to love us too. And that is the focus of this episode. What does it truly mean to love yourself? I'm Sheila and this is Lumia 24. Light on. I know you have all heard about self-love and yet it remains one of the least practiced. In fact, we are taught the opposite. We have been taught to criticize ourselves, constantly belittle ourselves and feel guilty if we feel good about ourselves. So often I hear my clients, especially the young ones, paraphrase whatever they are saying with the words, maybe I sound overconfident. And my answer always is the same. Better overconfident than underconfident. So many years of conditioning, so many years of being criticized for what we do wrong, and no acknowledgement for what we do right. No wonder our self-love gene is buried deep under. Rumi says, your task is not to seek for love, but merely to seek and find all the barriers within yourself that you have built against it. Which means you don't have to learn it or earn it. It's within you. You just have to remember, unpack, and believe it. Self-love is that inner acceptance of who you are as you are. This is such a basic tenet because your self-esteem, your mental and physical health, your happiness, they all start from here, within you. Self-love is about accepting and approving of ourselves and living from a space where we know that we are innately enough. Here's the thing about loving ourselves. Until we do it, we don't realize its power. Let me show you what it looks like when we don't love ourselves. We eat, sleep and breathe doubt. We doubt ourselves. We doubt our partners. We doubt love. And in a bid to retain that love or even worse, to earn that love, we won't set limits and boundaries and we let people walk all over us. We won't ask for a raise. We'll stay in dead-end jobs. We are afraid to charge a decent amount for our services. We procrastinate over things that need to be done. We create illnesses in our body. We give up on self-care and become harassed, harried, unhappy versions of ourselves. We do a lot of quick fixes. We will eat away our emotions, looking for our quick fix in a tub of ice cream or that cheesecake, and then we are filled with self-loathing and disgust for our bodies. We try to make ourselves better with a new haircut, a one-night stand, a bottle of whiskey or shopping binges, but none of these fixes us at all. They leave us feeling lonelier, emptier and sadder. And we will remain that way until we stop looking for other people to give us the love and care that we yearn for and we deserve. Because I want you to understand this. It's your job to love yourself. You cannot outsource it to someone else. And the first commandment about loving yourself is to stop all criticism. Loving yourself means finally showing up as who you really are and accepting yourself for who you are. You speak your truth and you ask for what you want. You don't need to prove anything to anyone because the only opinion that matters is your own. Remove all the should do's from your life and system. Don't accept bad treatment or social pressure or feel compelled to do things that you don't want to do just because you're supposed to. You aren't afraid of getting hurt. You don't push love away or run away or subconsciously create reasons why your relationship will let you down. You let go of all baggages in your life, people, situations, things which are causing drama and trauma in your life. When you finally start loving yourself, you can channel that energy into creating a life that you love. So as a start, I'm going to give you my favorite tool from my toolbox. This is a short guided meditation that you can listen to every morning to learn self-love. Please find a quiet place where you will not be disturbed. 
close your eyes. Bring awareness to your breathing. Just breathe in and out. Be totally aware of it. Just follow the inhale and exhale gently. Allow your mind to settle into your breath. Place one hand over your heart and bring your awareness into your heart. Repeat to yourself three times, I love myself just as I am. Breathe in and out. Repeat, I am nature's greatest miracle. Since the beginning of time, never has been there another with my mind, my heart, my eyes, my ears, my hands, my hair, my mouth. None that came before, none that live today, and none that come tomorrow can walk and talk and move and think exactly like me. I'm unique. There is no comparison. I'm rare and there is value in all rarity. Therefore, I'm valuable. Now smile and make that smile go through your entire body. Feel your face smile, all your internal organs smiling. Let the smile settle into every cell of your body and slowly open your eyes. I have also posted this audio link in the description box so that you can download the meditation onto your phone and use it every day, every day. Because if you think you will practice it after you get the love of your life or that hot bod or that fabulous lifestyle, you have got life on backwards. The world is a reflection of you. So if you want to change your reality, you have to rise first. Want love? You have to love yourself first. Want success? You have to own your gifts and worth. You are not your flaws. You are not your self-doubts, your bad moods or the guilt you carry around. You are a spark of the divine and your authentic nature and true potential is incredibly amazing. If you're ready to break free from what's holding you back and dial up your self-love and worthiness meter, then I have something for you. Connect with me for details of my retreat, I Complete Me, where I will take you through a series of processes to weed out negativity and plant some new seeds of self-worth. Until then, practice, practice, practice. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share this video with your community. And subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Let's spread the light, folks.